Three, two, one, go. Feeling good about it. Next run that I kind of get. I really want a Deathless run. I think that's my short term goal right now. I mean, obviously, you could have a Deathless run through this. Well, I won't say easily. I think a Deathless run of this game would be easily to do if the final area didn't exist. If it didn't exist, I guess you can technically buy hearts and, like, kind of do that. I think every other level in the game, if you were trying to do a deathless run of this, wouldn't be as hard. Obviously, once you start trying to go fast with it. Um, I mean, you can still, with six hearts, you can still die in the final area of the game. Like, it's very easy to get trapped somewhere and just keep taking lava damage over and over. Uh, but yeah. Doing all the strats I know right now, and not having to restart, or uh, dying from anything, like, that would be the dream right now. That's obviously kind of hard to run against then. We count that as a death. <laughs> Alright, we made up for it, I just decided to go for that. That about evens out. <laughs> Falling off the edge and then... Not taking that slow, I guess. But yeah, if you're ever doing full game runs and you fall off the side like that, it's fine. You'll respawn below the box area, because you actually have the checkpoint there. Unless you really miss it. In which case, uh, yeah. I don't think I've whiffed it that bad before, but I'm sure it's possible. Uh, I've done some very interesting bad decisions in the past, so. Yeah, I'll go for the windmill jump on the third level. I think I've... Uh, I think I've tried it like four times today and gotten it twice. Sounds correct, but might be wrong. I don't know if 18 flat is a good time there. I've not spent a ton of time on this. I think that the amount of times I did a, uh, I've done a demo run of this game. Oh, that's why the time for this looks a lot faster than it, or a lot slower than it does. Is because it rounds up your time during, uh, once you hit a button. That's interesting. Does that actually affect your final time though? The fact that it rounds up? Wait, am I gonna get it like a 32? Wait, my time actually went up. Uh. I feel like something weird just happened, but anyways. Let's round it down. How's it going, Cassie? Yeah, they added milliseconds for the IL timers. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how to verbalize whatever yeah i mean i was i wasn't gonna say no to it being added because it's more precision for it personally i kind of liked the minute barriers for it But I kind of defer to people that do a bunch of IELs because I definitely am not a person that records a bunch of IELs and tries to do them. Also, I have hold down a like a big jump here, so I guess I have to do a big jump. Big jump! It's one of these small jumps. But I forgot, so I'll just do small jumps. Yeah, it seems like the final time is accurate, but sometimes the running time is wrong. Because like, I'm gonna get a 40 here. But if you looked at my timer, I definitely had a 39. So I think what the timer is displaying right now isn't 
accurate to whatever internal thing it's tracking, or it's running for really long after you reach the um, after you reach the exit. Could be either. Pretty much I'm just looking forward to the some of the cutscene skipping or not having to mash for dialogue will be nice. Those are the two things I am happy to see in the near future maybe. I don't think the run's gonna like you know, if you really got rid of all the in-between time, I mean the run's like 40 minutes or whatever it is. Um I told myself I was not going to jump early. That I was either going to fall off the edge there or I was going to make the jump. Like, I'm either going to just throw multi into the pit or we're jumping across. There's going to be no in between. <laughs> uh, I think that's probably the mindset I need to have is like either multi's going in that pit or he's making the jump. He's not going to jump and then miss it. <laughs> uh, I think think that'll maybe help me actually doing the jump correctly. Yeah, one second gold. Hope you've been doing well, Cassie, though. Hope you're having a good Monday. Monday, almost Tuesday for you. I have to remind myself that whenever I'm talking with the devs, it's like, oh yeah, it's like 1 a.m. for them right now. I should probably not be like asking them questions. Whoops. Bonk. Ah, it almost bonked. Nice. I have a lot of work stuff to do. I I can already see the writing on the wall that I'm probably working a longer day tomorrow, so I might try to get in early. By get in early, I mean roll over in bed and turn on my laptop early to start working on things, but um, yeah, I, I Unfortunately, I just have a billion things to do. I think all the uh, setup stuff for the leaderboards for Mail Mole is kind of quieted down though, which is nice, because that's my least favorite part of speedrunning, is moderation and leaderboard things and all that. But I wanted to make sure we have everything set up in like a way that makes sense to everybody and is fun to do. Dude, that was really nice, actually. That was a good movement during the black screen. I don't really know what I'm doing, but uh, yeah, it's going well. I think I'm just holding down left angle and hoping they don't run to anything. It's really the best strat. Just say a little prayer and hope. I think I need to change up how I do the beginning of this level just a little bit. It's not a big problem, but I just think I'm not doing it a great way. Hello? I was just taking a new angle of attack there, don't worry about it. Oh, I should have grabbed some more water. Uh, that's the th only bad thing is I would actually rather the like if there's cutscenes with no interaction for them like they'll all be bulked up in one place so I could like go get some water or something. The the
time in between levels is not enough for me to do anything like that. Garlic don't at me. That's such, that such a gross sound. I'm not gonna say that again. <clears throat> All right. Level's pretty chill, but you can definitely just cannonball straight into the straight in the water if you feel like it. Nothing's gonna stop you. The game definitely doesn't stop you. They don't have any like guardrails or anything. It looks sometimes my timer just jumps up like two seconds instead of one. But I can't really watch it very closely. Oh, nice. If I got in the dash at the end, I could have saved a little bit of time, but... I'm not really worried about any of the ancient temple levels, except for the next one. Next one's just annoying because the camera wants you to die. And it doesn't mind you knowing it. Helped watching uh, Rill's run during uh, Animal Fawn and getting the timing for it, though. No. Oh, I'm going that way. I really should stop going that way. I should go towards the boxes. Take my chance with them. Ooh. Don't know why I did that either. I usually go in the bottom route and just kind of take it. One, two, three, four. And then you just teleport over. You ever try to sneak attack the mailbox? It, it just grabs you. Ooh, 3883. That's kind of a nice looking time. I don't mean like time wise, like it's a good IL time. I mean just that it's flexive, mirrored, flip flopped. <laughs> Yep, happy little numbers. <laughs> Much better pace than last run. <laughs> I can I can beat my gold for this. I, I had a gold on my PB, but I don't see any reason why I can't beat it. Oh, never mind, it's, it's unbeatable now because I made a small mistake. Ah! I didn't get the jump, so I was like a couple steps short of the mailbox, so I had to... That's probably the worst feeling when you miss a jump and then... Ooh, 2255, that's a nice looking time as well. Um, they're like uh, mirrored and flipped. Anyways, <laughs> but uh, yeah, when you just miss a jump and if you jump and dash again, you'll actually lose time. So you just have to suck it up and go forwards. And I keep forgetting to hold the dash key since that makes you move faster uh, while walking. Yeah, more pretty IL numbers. <laughs> Maybe that's what I should go for. Not post my best times to the leaderboard, but post like the nicest looking times. I should just get the worst time possible in a level. 
Just see when it caps out at. Post that on speeder.com. I was about to say I feel bad for the mods if I did that, but the mods, I am, I am one of those. Okay, gonna be a little slow. Okay, sometimes you just gotta take it a little slower, enjoy yourself a little bit. Not, not be in such a rush. Oh, I thought that was 2552. I thought we were continuing the streak of nice numbers. Alright, am I gonna get this jump? Yes, but then I'm gonna mess it up immediately afterwards. That is, I'm gonna call it now. I'm gonna call my shot. Uh, but then second try, I'm gonna mess it up and then just suck it up and keep going. That is a, exactly what's going to happen. I'll get the jump, but then mess up afterwards and then miss the jump the second time, but keep going. I don't want that to happen, but if it does happen, then... Oh, never mind. I just messed it up at the beginning anyways. You know what? That's all right. Man, now that I know you can get there so quickly, it's it's rough now. <laughs> Ooh, let's not do what I was about to do there. I think just doing the faster ending here will save me some time. Just generally doing all the other strats. That's technically better than the time I had on my practice save file, so... Uh, I don't think I got a... Well, no it isn't, because I got a better run through with the super cool jump. It's okay. Should be gold splitting this. Maybe not actually. Oh, 0.4. <laughs> Could have been by more, but uh, that's okay. I'm I'm happy with my pace right now because we're going into Yeti Ridge after this, and not to look past the boss. His boss is super terrifying. He's got lots of different tools at his disposal like platforms and buttons and I actually don't know that okay he's got spinning things and platforms I'm pretty sure that's all this fight is I don't think they add anything else also I need to stop I need to break the habit of mashing when there's no text happening because I'm just gonna mess up my wrist quicker oh, oh multi you almost did it you were so close, you almost got in the cannon. <laughs> I think it's my favorite glitch so far, is multi completely whiffing and missing the cannon. Even though we found lots of silly things in the game. My favorite. I don't know, I guess you have to like bump the little thing there to do that. Oh, I thought I hit the button. That I landed on it. That I dunked it. I think I'm gonna lose time on the fight, but didn't die, so. Yeah, it's fine. Thought I landed on the button, so I was trying to ground pound, but I was just sitting on the ground. Hey, see, and they've been 21 months. My goodness. That's a lot of time. That's almost longer than I've been alive. Yeah, all my, or most of my emotes have some similar language to their code for it, so couldn't do is bull dab, even though it's a very cursed emote. I have to get rid of an emote that's probably going to be the, the one that 
gets killed first. Which I feel bad about, because I know Cassie has a matching emote, so... And I'll have to keep it alive for now. I don't have any new emote ideas anyways. And the, my emote slots are going to change for a long time. Yeah, like, how can I replace mine when, when that still exists? I'm doing well. We had one run already today. It wasn't wasn't on incredible pace, but it was kind of a nice warm up. There's some new strats I'd like to learn and get comfortable with, but like every single day I come back to Mail Mole, someone's found a new strat for a level, which is like really fun and exciting actually. It's a uh, it's a good problem to have. I would I'd rather that than like, you know, go a month and nobody's found anything for it. That's boring, we don't want that. Day one, speedrun, literally perfect. No, there was no, no time saves in that run at all. <laughs> the rice was just very, very generous for uh, a few months. And we were able to get some extra emote slots because of that. I appreciate deeply and greatly. That was really cool. I probably need to... Love seeing new speedrun tricks. Yeah, I really like... Even like small stuff, honestly, I've noticed like... If I watch like Kimito do a run and like... He like skips a platform that I don't skip or like does like a little optimization and like my brain really enjoys that. It's really cool. It's like ah oh, there's there's always little things, always all little tweaks. So like, you know, big or small speedrun stuff. Really enjoy getting to see it, so obviously the, the tree skips and stuff are hilarious to me and I love them. Feels a shaped hole in my heart where the uh, past one was but now we have two tree skips so that's okay <laughs> all right I'm gonna hit the button I've not not practiced without the button enough yet one day though how you doing Oscar hope you're doing well yeah that's good Yes. <laughs> I would have laughed though. I I, I would have if, if there was like an R.I.P. little like sign on the the tree where the skip used to be. I'd just be like, all right, <laughs> that's fine. It's a little little memento there, little like a uh, grave marker. Uh, it would technically fit with Spooky Swamp too, so you know. That's my one good idea for the day. <laughs> IL board? We do have IL board on speedrun.com. There's also a few uh, Excel spreadsheets that are floating around. If you want to see the, the demo ILs are pretty well optimized that are in the Mail Mole uh, Discord. But yeah, we do. On speedrun.com, we have an IL page that we're trying to keep updated. Um, people have been. There's still some empty slots. People have mostly been grinding levels they find something cool for, or just... Oh, there we go. I landed right next to the box, and if you are right against the box, it does not want to get out of your way for you. Oh, okay. I realized it was going to hit me, so I like kind of uh, gave up on that jump. have to get down on this that'd be cool I would never say no to you speed running in a game in current year <laughs> it's so weird to me the game's been less out for uh, uh, not been out for even a week at this point it feels like it's been out for half a month was, yeah I think I think we got it got put in the uh, features a couple times here or there. I felt like 
at least in the tutorial, they were better. But I think it just depends the angle you come at them. If you dash right against them, they will just say no sometimes. Yeah, not even a week. You're doing a 3D platformer? Hey, you'll crush my time if you pick this up. You are very good at speedrunning stuff. I'm sure you would take to it pretty well. Steven's done a lot of uh, cool runs if you check out Metal Llama. Uh, past runs, but also streams all the night. What have you else have you been streaming lately, Steven? Remind me for my old aching brain. Oh, thank you for not killing me. Appreciate that. It's very kind of you. I don't like this strat <laughs> for picking up the keys, doing like little dashes and then pulling back so you don't dash too far. It's really, <laughs> it's really sketchy. But I mean, this entire level is sketchy, so it feels on brand a little bit. Oh, please make it. Thank you. Please, why don't I go for that jump? Uh, okay, well, now we need to do this. Imagine speedrunning. I'll try. It took me a second to, like, think about that. I thought you were, like, directing at me, like, <laughs> like I'm trying my best. All right, so that's, like, one of my only deathless Yeti ridges I've had in a full game run. Uh, very, oh, yeah, I saw you were... I think I saw you had that open on Discord, but I didn't know that you were streaming it. Should be a gold split by a little bit. Masculine mold game. Nice. Congratulations on your purchase. Where do I go? I like getting golds just so I can lose the time immediately. Actually, we're gonna... we can be like a minute ahead at this point. Two aisles. Last night we were on Uncap, so I didn't upload them since I'm trying to spend the timer. I mean, you can... I don't know about submitting them to the speedrun.com board. Oh yeah, you, you have them uploaded obviously since it's got to see those, but... Um, yeah, it's like... Right now, like you saw on Discord, we kind of just have like like an honor rule of don't submit ILs with uh, or at least we had an honor rule of don't submit ILs with uh, uncapped because the timer at that point was could be uh, influenced by having higher frame rate so if it was during that and you didn't have it capped I'm assuming then probably shouldn't submit it I definitely, you're free to post it around. You've already done that, obviously, but. Oscar's one of the developers for those unaware. One of the lovely folks that brought this game to life. This was a, I saw it on Discord. I'm not sure if I read it correctly. So this was like a, something that started as like a college project. For this game. Or was I misreading it? Because I've definitely done that before. Nice. Hey, if you stream it, I'll definitely hang out and, and watch. All right, Windmill Hills. At least made this cycle. So, that's good at least. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's alright. Oh my goodness, well. Perfect. In this game? Well, yeah, because you've not played the game yet. You literally just bought the game. So, it would make sense that you are not yet at the level of someone that has like 50... Actually, I almost have 60 hours in this game now. It's a bit of a problem. 
Oh no, I missed the cycle because I turned my brain off for a second and was reading chat. Uh, no. I wouldn't even say in general. Oh no. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. The run isn't dead. I just really tried to mess that up. I thought I could ground pound and land back on the... Okay, we're just gonna go for this. I think I should be safe to make it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so that was beautiful. I uh, kind of stumbled my way through that one, but that's okay. Oh, cool. That's awesome. What would you start as a project? Thought through. I mean, the fact that you've been playing stuff like Hollow Knight and going for achievements with it. That's so sad. We still save time. Because I died and, uh... level before that. I think I said last run that I remember the name of that level, and then I just forgot oh, it now. Oh. Hey, kids, how's it going? Welcome back. How's life? <laughs> I was just talking a friend into buying the game through my hard bargaining uh, of playing the game. <laughs> yeah, late for Steven is even late for me. <laughs> All the people I want to watch that stream always stream fairly late. It's unfortunate. <laughs> Steven, why can't you just move to a different time zone so I can watch your streams better? You and Teddy, I, I watch like exclusively when I'm about to go to sleep. So whenever I watch Teddy and leave the stream on when I'm asleep, I'll just wake up and I'll have a random horror game streamer that I'm now watching. Because he raided them. Which probably isn't a good idea. Like, so Teddy Rust runs a decent variety of more obscure indie games, but also plays a bunch of like obscure horror games as well. Played a like SpongeBob horror game last night, and like playing, like l listening to that right before I go to sleep probably isn't good. Because like, Half, my brain half remembers the the game and half doesn't. So I'll be like, I'll wake up and I'll be like, did I really watch that game last night? Is that an actual thing? Is that really a SpongeBob horror game? Apparently SpongeBob horror games or just SpongeBob horror fan art is just a thing in general, so. That and Garfield. What's with people making horror the comics of Garfield? <laughs> <laughs> understand come to Europe I mean I don't think we can fly out of here <laughs> yeah r slash I'm sorry John is something else if you've never seen it before Sonic 2 to a lesser extent I guess I apologize if people have not seen like the weird horror fan comics for like these things but hey you know the stream's all a learning experience so i'm just teaching everybody something they maybe didn't want to know or didn't need to know but now know anyways planning on doing 100 percent run i think at some point i don't want to go in too many directions right now, but I definitely want to do like an all radishes sort of run. Uh, at the very least. Like all power cells, all radishes. 
probably bonus races as well. Don't don't let anyone shame you for liking Garfield. Like what you like. The more I the older I get, the more I relate to Garfield anyway, so. Yeah, I'm I'm happy people are routing all radishes for that reason. Um, I probably should <coughs> As, as much as a way to, like, keep the runs organized and, like, resources for it, as much as just generally because it's cool, I probably should just add all radishes already to the, the IL board so people can submit run-throughs of getting all three radishes. Mondays. <laughs> I actually don't like lasagna that much, you know? I apologize if, if people are disappointed in this, but it's fine. It's okay. It's like pasta cake. I don't really like cake either, so. Get a stuffed Garfield as a kid? That is some interesting Metal Llama lore that I did not know, but I'm very happy to have learned. I had a stuffed, like, it looked like it was a handmade. I'm pretty sure we got it from, like, a, um, someone's garage sale, but I'm pretty sure it was, like, someone's, like, handmade, like, Yoshi plush. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't even say plush because there was nothing, like, really plush about it. It was very, like, thin. Like, anorexic Yoshi. <laughs> I still have it around somewhere. I love that thing in my closet along with all the other horrific things that are probably lurking in there with it. I should, I should bring that out and have it in the... on my dresser or whatever. I already have like a billion things on it. Might as well add that to the pile. I'm happy that my chat is very pro Garfield. Very good thing to learn. It's it's very indicative of what kind of uh, community you have, their experiences and opinion of Garfield. So good to know. Proud of all of you. <laughs> uh, this should be a good split. I mean, we're we're getting right to the the tough stuff. Got a how many? I, I'd say every level on Spooky Swamp I can probably die to. So excuse me. Really should have filled up my water. I'm dying. <laughs> The tree skip I got last run was kind of sketchy. I don't like- I didn't like the angle I had on it, but it worked, so that's the important thing. Tree skip number one, let's go. Get that bread. There we go. Mm, okay, we can recover this. This is fine. Ah, there we go. Nice. That's actually really quick, too. I'm now happy that I practiced that. I was like, I'm probably going to miss it one of these times in a full game run, so I should probably practice the recovery for it, too. That's why we practice. That's why we practice, so we can lose less time. <laughs> if you need to recover that, I guess if people want to learn, you just need to like very slowly rotate around the tree until you start jumping a whole bunch. 
Yes, Cass, we lost one tree, but we gained two. So really the amount of trees used for skips has gone up. So. All right, let's try not dying to vanishing bridges this time. What did I even do? Oh yeah, I ground pounded to my own death. Nothing killed me. I killed me last time. Uh, that was good. Good times. Good memories. You have to make sure to immediately jump. Uh, or immediately do like a small dash there at the beginning. If you don't do that, then... Uh, I don't know. Bad things will happen to you. You'll fall into a pit and then die and then be sad. Eh, whatever, we'll do that a little carefully. I was on a really weird pattern for movement there, so I just wanted to do it kind of safe. Well, as long as we don't take three minutes to the next level, we're going to be ahead. You want to see the second tree skip for Spooky Swamp, you're going to have to wait until after the boss fight. Gotta, gotta build tension and excitement for the harder of the two tree skips. We have to beat Scavenger Hunt though, and that's not an easy level either. I have no more water left, don't I? I have to have like another water bottle sitting around here somewhere. I have like little baby water bottles. Ah, I guess they're gone. I guess I got rid of them actually. I cleaned my desk for once. Weird. Why would I do that? Okay, if I make a mistake, I need to not uh, restart. Just, I need to die and then uh, keep my keys. Interesting way to get hit twice. I thought my iframes would last longer. Pretty good. Can't be unhappy with that. There's a couple of small things I could do to speed things up, but generally I'm pretty happy with the route for that. That's one of those levels that feels really nice to do well. Actually, this is going to be... Are we going to be 50 seconds ahead? Yeah, nice. And I've practiced this boss fight, so hopefully we do it better. I spent 40 minutes just to make a save file for this one boss fight. I better do better on it <laughs> than usual. I bet you I'm going to fall and die during this boss fight. Uh... I think it saves time if you reload area right after this cutscene, because I think the UFO is on a good cycle then. It also takes you a little bit closer. Oh nice, good dash. No, I missed the UFO cycle then. No, never mind. It's good. Yeah. Because the cannon won't fire until the UFO's on the bottom right or back right section of that. Until then, it just kind of hangs out. Yeah, the reason I need to practice this is there's two sections of invisible platforms. And if you don't have them practiced, then it's kind of rough to know where to go. Oh my... Wait! Mm-hmm. You know, whatever. That's what I meant to do, actually. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, 
Interesting boss fight already. Ah, uh, if that platform's not on, it's really awkward. I don't know what happens. I don't know if it's because I paused or just... I don't know. Alright. Thank you, Multi. Clipping it for dev-related things. I don't... I really couldn't even tell you what I did to make that happen. All that practice saved me like 10 seconds, so... I'm actually kind of happy about that. Alright, so... We still have the... Tree skip to do. On this. Yeah, I'm assuming the collision is just a little bit larger than it should be there. But I wasn't sure if it's because I paused while ground pounding or something, or... I don't know. Okay. So I need to restart the beginning of this level, because I don't know the... Oh, my sticky note that's got my... Where is it? Nope, that's not the right one. Oh well. I wrote down the uh, times that the platform appears. Just in case I get way off cycle. I can technically jump off now. I'm gonna wait. Got the jump first try though. Nice. Okay. Unfortunately, the checkpoint's behind us. So we just gotta do all this. Just go for it. Okay. I'm gonna wait. I'm scared. Spooked, one might say. Well, I gotta make this jump now because I waited too much. I think you can guess where the platforms will appear by looking at the other ones on the right. Oh, interesting. I think my best time for this before the tree skip was like 10 something. Remember that? Okay, next things we need to clean up, I'm pretty sure, is just uh, Dry Canyon. Yeah, if you do a run tomorrow, I will definitely be hanging out for that. <laughs> That'd be a lot of fun. I'd enjoy that a lot. Ooh, nice. No, I bounced off the button. My perfect run through of this level is over. That was it. I had the moves. I need to find some fun stuff to do during this level. Some fun ways to screw around while I'm waiting. I mean, grabbing all the carrots would be like the ultimate uh, flex, but that's not gonna happen. No, I missed the radish. Wait, no, I can save it. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I just don't wanna go too far back and then fall off and lose a run to a, a level that is an auto scroller <laughs> when there's nothing dangerous in said level. Oh, okay, we're leaving the radish. I gotta- I got places to go. I have tried jumping off that radish platform and getting to the end early, but that happened. Any school tips on this level? I've tried doing a jump from the radish platform onto it, but I've not been able to ever make it, and I've not seen anyone else make it before. Yeah, you're not- you're not learning so much content that it's kind of overwhelming. You're you're learning just a few levels. 30 levels and then the ending sequence. Some boss fights. The first two boss fights you don't even really need to learn. All right, Rocky Heights. Me and you don't see eye to eye ever, but uh, I'm gonna need you to behave for the next minute. Uh, or 30 seconds, I guess. Yeah, the damage boost jump would be very nice in a couple places, but it really never happens when you want it to. If someone found a consistent way to set it up that wasn't just be good at doing frame-perfect things, that would be nice. Um, 
Oh, I almost fell off because that took me by surprise. it by chance um half coordinated has a video of it why not be good at frame perfect things yeah i should just be better at video games of course i wish i thought about that beforehand So we have all the main levels we're going to do, now we just are doing, um... Uh, wait, did I miss that split? Oh, we're way ahead then. I don't even know how ahead we are because I didn't realize I had to split then. I thought it was after all the other stuff. Oh, I double open the level. Very nice. I did a ba-bump. So does the race menu for this now... I'm not doing the... The windmill jump before anyone asked. <laughs> I'm gonna be a baby, I'm gonna take my seven second time loss. I got it on the first time through this level though. So maybe I should go for it. Nah. Unless. No. Maybe. That's nah, we're already by it now. The windmill skip. I did it on the first time through since it's like six minutes into the run, but I, uh, the menu will start the first race. Okay. Good to know. Oh, wait. Okay, it did shift over. Maybe you accidentally fixed it because it went to the next race. Windmill skip isn't terrible, but I choke it pretty, pretty well. One of those all or nothing skips. If you mess up other skips, like you can kind of recover it. If that one is, is you just kind of lose 12 seconds or so. I need to get more comfortable with it. Kimido is like a lot more comfortable in that skip than I am. So once I get there, I'll do it. But especially since I'm like, I think at this point I'm probably like a minute and a half ahead, maybe a little bit less. Have I had a death on this run yet? Like an unintended death. That's like a good problem to have, not knowing why something's fixed. Or not having something be fixed by accident. Okay, never mind, it didn't. It didn't, it just shifted over to the side. Yeah, you can jump from there. It's a little bit can be a little sketchy, but I should start doing that, actually. <laughs> That's correct. Oop, I guess we're gonna wait behind this one. The uh, cannon's already firing before you get here since it's now on like a global timer instead of a whenever you get there timer. I have to remind myself that and not get myself hit. And now we just take a hit. <laughs> Actually, I should have taken a couple hits and just kind of powered through. Scrolled right and moved two pos- oh no. Well, I hope that's not too bad of a problem. Interesting. Maybe I just tapped really quickly. <laughs> Maybe I just got spooked. I just wanted to give a little bit of a break before I did Coconut Island, apparently. <laughs> Remember that the cycle's weird. Oh, whoops. That little lip right there gets me. 
Actually, is this cycle weird? That was a nice cycle. Yeah, I just can't get enough of Yeti Ridge. We should add more Yeti Ridge into the game. The entire game should actually just be reskinned to be Re Yeti Ridge, I think. I think that's the correct answer. Oh, it did it again. Interesting. Okay, so it seems like it jumps two to the right, but only one of the... Hmm. Many seems like it's doing whatever. It, it's not losing me any time. I don't really care too much. Could have cut across there, but I have to wait on this platform anyway, so it's just like a tiny bit slower to go around. This is like the one area where the ska music doesn't fit, but it's okay, because it's more ska music. Alright, last race now is gonna be... What's the last race? Dry Canyon, okay. I need to break a bad habit I have, which is grabbing the checkpoint during this level. I mean, I, there's no checkpoint now, but I, I still do the same movement of grabbing the checkpoint where it would be. There's no real reason to. There's like a 0% chance of you dying at that point, unless you really try. I actually guess going where the checkpoint isn't bad because you need to jump up there anyways. No spinny wheel, yay. Okay. Um, this should be a good split. I mean, it looks like we're about a minute uh, 50 ahead. Or minute 20, sorry. I tried to do math in my head really quickly. And uh, that's always a bad sign. Alright, so. Oh, we just have the final area. I have a little bit of wiggle room because I have a death. But I'd rather just not die. Thankfully I didn't add, like, enter the wrong race at some point. That's what I was worried about, is the menu would throw me off and I would just enter the wrong one. Alright. Like, stretch my wrists out and maybe even stand, because I'm not going to be able to stand for a little bit. Uh, all right. At least I practiced this today for instead of what I did last time, which was immediately go into runs and not practice it for some reason. Well, not yesterday. I didn't actually do runs yesterday. I took a break. I think I was going to fly past that, so... I have to wait on this anyway, so there's no real reason to try to get through that super quickly. You might be able to even skip a cycle there if you go really fast, but... That is not what I'm going to try to do. This one's also a little awkward sometimes. I didn't think I landed on that, actually. I thought I uh, missed it and I was getting ready to go on the lava. Already some sketchy stuff has happened, but Ooh, we made it over that at least. That's nice. A little bit more help to work with. I just accept that I'm going to get hit there usually. <laughs> I don't try to avoid it. You can jump right as the roller goes past that little ball in the background. Nice. I went well. That's okay. I think I took that a little bit less risky because I knew I had the health to play around with if I got hit. Oh. 
Probably the best I've done this sequence in a while, honestly. That was really good. 146 elevators, really, really good for this level. Should be fine. Ah! <laughs> I was thinking too much about the ground pound and then the dash afterwards that I missed the ground pound, but that's all right. Timing stops counting when the uh, final dialogue happens before the credits. So the last line that the uh, mayor has. <clears throat> Two twenty four is pretty good, especially for uh, real time. Forget the cycle for that's weird the first time you get there. Or can be weird. Oh, speaking of. Hey. Pretty good so far. I'm just gonna do this nice and safe. Hug the outside. Oh, I actually landed on the platform. I thought I was just going to take the hit and keep going. Ah, I'm just going to do this safer. I was going to do the jump. It would have probably been kind of cool, but... Eh. No reason to. Oh, I don't even need to take that checkpoint. We didn't get hit at all. That's really nice. Hello? Oh, <laughs> I jumped so I uh, stopped the elevator from starting. <clears throat> yeah, I was just a shortening for individual level. The wave cycle for this is always a tiny bit weird. But it's not as kind of awkward. Could have done that a little bit better, but it's okay. Hey, we got the two dashes though. <laughs> Very unimportant to get the dashes after the button presses, but it makes me feel like I'm doing... Oh, I'm pretty sure the I'm Stubborner dialogue just came up twice. Interesting. <laughs> He's very stubborner this day. I might be seeing things, I don't know. Pretty good so far. I mean, this next level is kind of weird, but uh, I'd rather take it a tiny bit safer than <clears throat> trying to go for all the marbles. Did you make this jump? Ooh, well, <laughs> good thing the platform came back, I guess. The answer is, ooh, I got sniped. Very nice. Good shot. Good stuff. Yeah, I can commend the cannons for doing a good job. That was pretty unexpected and kind of caught me by besides, honestly. Like, <laughs> I forgot that was a, a thing. I think that actually happened to Kimito before. But it's not happened to me yet, so. Oh, I didn't know you could just jump all the way across there, actually. Oop, I almost went flying right up on the other side. Kind of doing some weird stomps and stuff. I think I'm getting that 
late run jitters and all that, but that's okay. Oh, I didn't... <laughs> I didn't miss the jump. I wasn't even trying to dash because I thought I completely messed it up. How many digits are shown in the time? The speedrun timer that's in the game now should show um, the extra two digits if you go in the settings. Uh, but you have to manually put it on. Dude, no hits? That's really good, actually. <laughs> Means I don't have to, like, play this safe at all. I can just kind of go for it. <laughs> Forget where the invisible platform is here, but like I said, we just kind of have health to play with. Oh, I can just get hit here. Why not? <laughs> Why not? She's my friend. We're actually going to be two minutes ahead here. That's kind of incredible. Forty-five seconds, not too bad at all. Twenty-one. So this is going to be like a, a mid-107. Even if I fall off some stuff. The end here. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I didn't think that was gonna come out and grab me, but it did. Eh, I was at a weird place, I couldn't make that jump. We're gonna lose time in the epilogue! Ah! Got a mash. I love how Batty just like snaps to the end there. One hundred seven twenty-two is pretty good. It's not a bad time at all. That's really good. Super, super happy with that time. Did I have any deaths during this run? I honestly don't know if I died during that run at all. If I didn't, that's kind of. Uh, kind of tough. Kind of tough to run against then. 